Hello guys, it's Dan here from Project Mojo and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the mannequin. Now the mannequin is something that's been at county school for many years now and has always taunted the people that have lived here. It's said to only move when you break eye contact but it's, more, it's just more than something that moves. So many people have lost their lives to whatever this thing is. This image was captured in another video we were making called um, Project Mojo Document 1. Now, it was captured as we were looking around the woods for something completely different. This thing showed up, and as you can see, there is some sort of pulse around the um, main picture. This is most probably an EMP sent out from whatever this thing is. As you can see to the center of the image, there is a black figure standing just over the fence. Now, what this is, we now know. This is a creature that has been around county school in these forests for over 80 years. It is called the mannequin probably because of its shape and form. It is the model of a mannequin, not the ordinary one you'd find in a shop, but of a naval watch training school master. Now, this was created in the late 1940s. A station master that worked at the county school station, which is now closed down, was a paedophile, and he had been abducting children since he moved away from his family. He was killed, killed on the tracks, before this man passed away, he left his son into a mannequin which he created, just as a decoration for that train, but this mannequin was much more, this would carry on his life as a stalker, a killer, a paedophile. It is said only to move when eye contact is broken. So at all times, keep your eye on Hello again guys. We're going to be going into the main background story of the mannequin itself. Now, in the late 1940s, the mannequin was made, as I told you in the last part. Now, there have been many more cases like this before. People have put their souls into dolls and mannequins. Here's one right now which you should be looking at a patient that was treated in hospital. They were dying of cancer and a relative, a loved one, brought in a mannequin for them to place their soul into. The next day they came into the hospital bed, not to find a bloody mess, but a mannequin standing there, looking out of the window into the dawn. One of the officers blinked as the other one ran out. After blinking, they saw it turn around. It reached out a hand, and that was the last they ever saw of her. This may not only have been the first mannequin to be created, this is only the first that we know of. There could have been many more cases, many more deaths, before this even occurred. Now, as you probably know, mannequins have been around for probably centuries now, in shops and just for display in tourist attractions or other places. Now, this one is different. I'm going to go over the things that this thing would do to you or anyone else that it came in contact with. Now, once this creature has been seen, there's no escape. It will stalk you for any means possible, appearing in photographs, videos, your life, coming from dreams, nightmares, seeing it without other people, taunting you, winding you up, 
and for a father or a mother, it may even get you for loved ones. For example, there's been many cases before where the mannequin has got to people that's been hunting down through their children. Now, this is quite rare, but it does happen. can go for adults. Most of the time it's children, which can be the worst. But the things it does are just, well, they're just evil. Many sightings have usually been by the parents of it stalking the children in their lifetime. No one's ever safe though. Never. Here are some images of what this thing can do to its prey, the children. When he, or should I say it, takes the children, they're kept somewhere in the station, in a carriage in fact, which is all locked up from the outside. No one can get in and nothing can get out. There's always strange noises here and you can hear movement in the side. And this is how we know that they're in there. Rotting. Like him. Save them. Save anything. Save anyone. Because once he's seen, we know. He's coming for all of us. He's always there in our dreams or nightmares. My time is up now. As I know, he is behind me.